Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Emi Chicken of Team Pandori. Today we're going to have a roundup of the three most sought after mini arcades. We have the Neo Geo Mini, the Astro City Mini, and the Egret 2 Mini. Hold on to your butt cheeks. Controls. The Neo Geo Mini has an analog style control stick. As older games need digital input, this feels kind of weird. The colourful buttons are also kind of cheap. The stick on the Astro City Mini has switches, but it feels more like a small toy, somewhat fragile. Unlike my manly me. The buttons feel pretty decent. Tricky stick. The stick on the Egret 2 Mini feels rather robust. If you used a shrink ray on a sandwich stick, this would be it. The buttons, yeah, they feel decent. If we look underneath the cab, we can select the joystick gate from either four-way or eight-way. How about three-way? The winner, the Agri 2 Mini. Lux. Sitting at 162 millimeters in height, the Neo Geo Mini doesn't look anything like the cabinet it's based on. The stick looks like a little mushroom and the buttons are completely off. This looks like a toy. Nothing wrong with toys. Just keep a puncture repair kit handy. Out of the box, the Astro City Mini looks the part. Sega really have gone out the way to make this look a lot like the Astro City. The 16-9 screen could put some people off, but with this matching base and stool, this can look incredible. At over 209 millimeters in height, the Agro 2 Mini is packed with a real 4.3 display. Much like the Astro City, it showcases much detail, such as the bezel on the top. That thing keeps falling off. Winner, Astro City Mini. Games. The Neo Geo Mini has 40 games, and not one of them is a stinker. If you want fun games with great pixel art, then look no further. The Astro City Mini has 36 games from the mid 80s to the mid 90s. There's some great titles here, but also some questionable ones. The Egret 2 has 40 games ranging from the late 70s to the mid 90s. The selection is very hit and miss. Taito have left out many essential titles. The winner, Neo Geo Mini. Display and sound. The three and a half inch display gives a very nice and crisp image. The sound, however, is not very loud and can be harsh on the ears when turned up. The 4-inch screen of the Astro City Mini is at a 16-9 aspect ratio. We only have 3.5 inches to play with. It's not the size. It is very bright and detailed. The sound being faithful to the Astro City has no bass. The 5-inch display of the Egret 2 Mini is its main selling point. The large, bright and detailed display can even be rotated to play vertical games in its correct orientation. The sound does lack a little bass, but it's fairly balanced and the placement of the speakers allow it to produce a fairly decent stereo image. Winner, Egret 2 Mini. HDMI and out. The HDMI output of the Neo Geo Mini is very poor. What have they done to her lovely melons? It's criminal. The Astro City Mini does a fairly decent job. It gives us small bezels on the side, but pixels are not of the same size, so this could have done with some integer scaling. The Egret Mini 2 gives us a fairly decent image. Each game is given a unique bezel, and you can rotate the whole screen 90 degrees for tape games. We just wish they'd have added integer scaling. Cost. The Neo Geo Mini comes at around $50 to $60 new. The controllers, another $20 each. Fairly affordable. The Astro City Mini comes at around $100. If you want the stool and base unit, it's about $40. And then the prices for the controllers are just a bit insane. The arcade stick is $200, whereas the control pad is just shy of $80. The Egger 2 Mini is just over $160. The spinner and trackball game set is just over 100, whereas the arcade stick is around 90. The control pad can be had for around $30. The winner, the Neo Geo Mini. 
So I'm gonna cap one Earth. With the machines being so different, it's easier to pick out a winner per demographic. Meet Monkey. He is hyperactive, plays games for fun, and has little income. The machine for Monkey is the Neo Geo Mini. Meet B. He's a late 80s to early 90s fanboy. His favorite album is Bad by Michael Jackson. He plays games sometimes, and is like a display unit. The machine for B is the Astro City Mini. Meet Ahoguma. He is an arcade enthusiast. He loves vertical games, and he has a disposable income. The machine for Ahoguma is the Egret 2 Mini. From these three systems, there is no clear winner. If you want to see more detail on each, please check our video reviews. As always, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. It is your continued support that helps us make solid content like this. We have reviews, guides, and we also work on the Pandori project, where we fix dodgy boxes from the joints. If you find value in our work, please consider joining up. We also have an active Discord channel, where you can challenge us with your sweaty hands. We've left links in the video description. And if you can, please like and subscribe. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!